Okay, I want to go through and uh, review some of this uh, footage, and I believe you are this guy, so if you're not, please let me know. I'm guessing by gentle beard and the fact that you said that you're about 100 pounds less than him, um, that this is probably you. Um, so, I actually went through and watched some of this in the very beginning and then realized that I didn't have the uh, setup properly, um, that I <laughs> actually had it just a camera on me, so it was like five minutes of um, somebody watching me on a webcam rather than the screen. So. Um, I'm going to go through some of this in the very beginning, just kind of quick. Um, when he drops down into Butterfly, I try to smash um, him in a little bit tighter, so like elbows to knees, um, so he's not able to use any of his uh, leg power here at this point, or like basically trying to negate his power with his legs by uh, putting his knees or his heels closer to his butt. Um, and then as you start to come around, um, sometimes an option from here, it, you know, you kind of struggle with this one as far as the pass. Um, walking him back uh, flat and then poking that knee through uh, a little bit more. Uh, but eventually, I know that you uh, start walking around the other way. And here, like, the uh, a little bit concerned with uh, the arm positioning here, but it, it's you end up using it for a pass, so it ends up working out. Uh, but just him being able to get, like, a normal plot air triangle here, so... Um, but then anyways, you get past. Um, here was one that I wanted to talk about too. Just flattening them out, um, like a old school Hoyler Gracie style. Um, taking your left hand, grabbing the pant legs here, and actually straightening uh, them completely out as you start to take side. So with his arm like this too, here's an opportunity to, to maybe go for a darts. I know he's just trying to put him flat on his back, uh, but a small opportunity there um, to be able to shoot for a dart since he has his arm so low and, and tight. And you start, I believe, popping up for uh, knee on belly. Uh, and this was the one that I wanted to talk about. Make sure that, it, you know, most people are trying to be nice on knee on belly and not actually put their foot all the way across. So like your foot should be, you know, on the, the butt there and all the way across and all your weight on top of him. He's able to go underneath uh, because of that fact, but you do a good job of being able to hop to the other side, uh, but just uh, try to get used to putting the weight down uh, there. So it's not so easy for them to uh, be able to stop that. But like I said, good job on defending. Remember you start going to the back here and then your hips come back. Uh, and that's kind of where I ended up stopping for a little bit. And I'm going to switch it here and speed it up. So nice work on staying on his back and keeping your hips low on top of his hips. Um, one option for you to do is put your hands underneath his elbows here and start to flatten him out. So brace his hands on the elbows, um, or brace your hands on his elbows and then start walking yourself back. But I'm um, still not doing a bad job here from uh, position, just he's defending fairly well. And if you can, um, try to fall back to the same uh, same side that your that arm's on. He uh, did a good, good job on uh, falling off to the other side. Um, and then you end up coming up in the mount. And he attempts to go to Daily Heaver. It's me a uh, uh, deep half and then ends up taking that leg. choke there um, about the only time I'm able to get that is if I can get my my head above theirs a nice daily heave sweep to the back um, so here try to secure your right leg over his and then pull him to the left or excuse me to the right um, and try to get that other hook in there you go good yep nice now pull him to the other side 
good. Get your other hook in. Nice work. And get the tap. Nice Ezekiel choke. This goes here. Um, can't tell if he got a choke off of there or what it was. Um, but one option, as soon as you know that you're going to lose this, like when you're down to your, your feet here, uh, try to pop up to your knees if at all possible. Um, that might have actually been time. Um, but try to pop up to your knees if at all possible. Otherwise, your other option is to take this left knee. Uh, eject it out and actually put it behind his butt and launch him forward so you're going to essentially kind of knee him in the butt and push that forward and then get up to that double but I'm guessing that was probably time there to get your balance off um, so you jammed up a, a little bit tight um, and it looks like he was just hitting an arm drag across that so as soon as you can scoot your hips out to the left side and try to pull back and face him um, instead of that arm drag grip um, so you're not committing so much. It, it's up to you. Um, this is, certainly isn't a you know a bad position as well. Uh, but yeah, definitely the gi. Maybe try taking your right hand and grabbing that bottom of his sleeve rather than uh, the elbow, and kind of doing the same thing. Just so you don't end up committing so much of your upper body. Nope. Okay. Um, so it looks like you're doing a, a Y escape there. I like a, we call it a Y escape. Um, I learned it from Eric Paulson, and so he always called it a Y escape. So it's that. So um, it's looking good here, except for this hand needs to be fully extended and at this angle. So when you push it this way, it just allows them to come over. Ideally, what you're trying to do is take your left hip, put it over his hip. Um, you can even take your right hand and grab his far arm and pull it in towards you, right? So you're just trying to create an angle on this, and when you push straight out like this, um, you're not really creating much of an angle. So um, the biggest thing I would say is take it back a step. As you start to do that, um, your either right knee should be fishing for this far arm, or your right hand should be fishing for that far arm, um, and starting to pull it in as you push that one the other way. So it ends up kind of creating a circle. Um, and then his left hip, or your left hip, would go underneath his belly button. Uh, come back on that. So just change your angle a little bit rather than, um, if you're going to sit straight back, uh, pop one leg up first and then pop through into guard um, rather than, than rolling straight back to allow him to come around. So, um, in other words, you know, if you're feel him on this side sit heavy to your left side bring your right foot out first um, and then come up rather than sitting straight back it looked like you had control of your pant legs good job on regaining guard again So on the X choke, really try to break down his posture first and then get your grips in there. Um, a lot of times it's really hard to be able to um, get grips, uh, like the previous choke, I know you're switching now, but previous choke, um, to pull him down with grips like that. It, break their posture down first and then establish your grips. Um, on 
on that one too. Maybe look for an opportunity to swing back into a triangle. Um, so as you swing out, swing back into a triangle so you're like your uh, right foot, uh, yeah, your right foot would shoot through this region here. And your left leg would have stayed over top. So like here would be a good option for you to start actually trying for those chokes and rather than pull down uh, one big thing that was taught to me a long time ago is rather than like trying to pull that down into chokes you're actually going to push your hand as high as it can go up into the ceiling um, into the back of their collar and then um, once you have your grips nice and tight start to establish and, and pull them down uh, a lot of people pull straight down right away so like you're trying to set up a, an X choke or cross collar choke here. Um, try to set those up too off of, you know, with a, an arm bar in between. So if you're, you're here trying this, um, a lot of times he'll, he'll pop up and you can either go for an arm bar um, or triangle off that same choke. Nice work. Um, hope some of this helps. Uh, let me know what you think.